Hi, Roberta. How are you? Good. I was just doing some last minute wrap up on some of these quests out here in Cosmo Canyon. And then I started going to the entrance and then I triggered a story cutscene by accident so I had to reload an earlier game so I could at least get the recording of the <laughs> of that cutscene. And then I'm gonna reload my other save. Because I did do a few more things between when I last saved. I hope your weekend's a fun one too. Yeah, you know, looking forward to spending some time outside. <laughs> Howdy, sweet blue eye. How are you? Okay. I think we're gonna trigger this cutscene so we can get a good recording. Nanaki! Is this man okay? He Happy is, Friday. Rather weak. I'm not sure why though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nibu, I'm... Nibu, I'm... Nibu, I'm... Ain't that... Ratifa and I grew up. Ah! Oh, of course! Nibelheim has a terminal. I bet my whiskers on... Mako poisoning. It's the, uh... Energy that they harvest for Cloud. Remember what you told Gein attack from the planet. I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me, that I'm on your side. It's not that. Mako is what hmm? turns into materia crystals. We should go. Well, it's not necessarily bad energy. It's just that too much of it, exposure to it, no can be poisonous. As as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. Like Mako radiation. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. Um, Mako energy is like a byproduct of the life stream or if it's separate from the life stream the life stream of the planet and then we have Mako energy I don't know if it's life stream that converts into energy that f creates Mako and then Mako is like a gas that crystallizes and has magical properties. That's what crystallizes and is harvested into materia, but they use it also to generate electricity. Unfortunately, it's like a finite resource and if they keep draining the planet of it, the planet will die. Yes, the crystals are created from the Mako. And that's a naturally occurring thing. 
but then it's also refined into materia that they put in their weapons to cast magic. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Small planet? I don't know how big the planet is. In the lore of things, we would have to ask Square Enix if it's small. I guess small is relative. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Turns Are you in need of guidance? Fellow Bugenhagen to us to leave them be. This is what we get for our end. Here, souls gathered from far and wide. Oh, I bet the planet's speaking to us. Crystals create multiple versions of materia. Um, I guess we. Uh, I there's probably different permutations of every type, at, at least in the lore that they've created. I guess it's a possibility. I mean, it seems like with each installment, they kind of create offshoots of other types of materia that haven't been in it before. So I guess. Now, of course, there's probably a lot of varying um, varying types, it's like a diverse permutations of fire materia. And then we, I also have one materia that's fire and ice materia now, and that's new. So could be. Captain, hello, Doodle. I didn't see that. R. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see Sid again. What you doing this weekend? I don't know. That's that's kind of far ahead. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't I haven't thought it through yet. Probably hang out with my dad. Next up, I think, is Nibelheim. Choice, but thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. Sit, my friend. You couldn't you give us a lift in Nibelheim, could you? A little far. Not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge.
I'm a little sad we didn't get to see Rocket Town in this part of the story. They're pushing it off to the third game. This is the town we are supposed to find Sid in first. It's like you get there and it's a there's a dilapidated rocket that was had failed to launch and that was Sid's rocket and he was supposed to be one of the first men into space in the Shinra space program and then that program got canceled due to an, an accident and he never made it into space I hope they don't change his story Materia. like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. This abandoned airfield. Something about abandoned airfields that are really neat. <laughs> oh, we got a little choco stop hidden over here. Sure. Where will they find the black materia? They're going to find it at the Temple of the Ancients. Which is Aerith's ancestors kept the black materia there. Or that's where it's residing. We're starting to get close to there, which is starting to get closer to the end of this game. I think we only have a few more chapters left. still quite a bit more to go though because there's a little back and forth between like coming to Nibelheim and we got more of our backstory here and we got to go there then we got to go back to the gold saucer we got we got a little ways to go and I'm sure plenty of side quests that I haven't even 
touch yet. <laughs> but yeah, we are getting closer uh, Kate, to the end. I meant to tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. Nibelheim burned down five years ago. It did. I... Not to worry, though. The terminal is as snug as a bug in a rug. Because Shinra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. Meaning the reactor? Well, that's important, too. But no. I'm no expert on Nibelheim, but what I do know is that it's... You can only have three people at a time in your team. Yeah. It's this or nothing. We should get going. And Barrett's strong. He's got good ranged attacks, but... I don't think he's quite as fun to play as some of the other yeah. characters. Like the melee characters, Yuffie and, and Tifa are a little bit more fun, action-oriented. Barrett's got a lot of range and it makes him a lot more convenient for a lot of fights, but I think his um, the way you formulate combos and attacks is probably just not quite as fun. But some some enemies that like fly around and spend a lot of time in the air, I think Barrett being ranged is great for that. Let's do this. And it's like, although, you know, a gun should do a lot more damage than any kind of melee character, so that's not really the case all the time in RPGs. <laughs> Barrett's shots. Because to account for the fact that he's ranged, it would be too easy if his all of his ammo hit as hard as a melee class. <laughs> Flower Girl's got range and her magic is high powered. But yeah, for those moments that I don't have Aerith in the party or can't for some reason, then Barrett's a nice swap in for Aerith. I load him up with magic and make him the designated healer. He's actually pretty good at that. <laughs> Where the terminal is, I didn't see it when I climbed up there. It's like, yeah, any any character can heal, but Aerith is exceptionally good at it. She's Got a lot of natural affinity for plus magic. bow until we need to go do that first something tells me we're in chocobo territory
Pico. <laughs> oh, we've got like inflating cactuses now to contend with. After a very specific chocobo. Chocobo bait. Got some bait up here. I'm probably gonna need this to lure him away from the path. What is that? Like a violet chocobo? Or a <gasps> lavender. It's the lavender house chocobo. Huge melons. <sighs> I hope we're able to like melee those melons down. Baited. It shows no interest in the bait, okay. <laughs> and that's a weird bird. What about you? Do you have any interest in bait? Melee? You've never heard the term melee? It means like um, they're doing physical damage, so they're instead of being at a distance and firing with a ranged weapon, they're in the middle of a melee, so all out hand to hand combat. But let's look up the literal definition of melee define melee melee usually means a skirmish or scuffle like a confused fight or a confused mass of people so you're basically in the middle of the fight with no strategery involved Chaos. Pandemonium. Okay, these chocobos aren't interested in the bait. That's interesting. Um, do we need to bait Selena over here? Maybe the maybe the lavender chocobo will follow bait. Okay, she, she will go toward the bait. So we just lead this Shogubo. I haven't either. This is the first time I've seen a color that wasn't in the original game. This is new for me.
That's what they say its name is, Selena. Oh, those things prickle. Okay, so <laughs> can't lead Selena into the prickly cactus. She doesn't like that. get her through. Maybe she can walk through these when they deflate. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh, too slow. got hit too many times. I don't know what those are I'm throwing. They're some kind of vegetation. They might be berries. Or a root vegetable. I don't know what those are. It just says chocobo bait. specific. They kind of look like beets. Oh good, she starts back at the checkpoint. That's that's my nice of them. thrown too far. You've gone too far. Oh no. Come on, pick up the pace. Okay. getting her through this. Maybe I should just get her going now. Maybe it will deflate. Come on, come on. Oh no. I was hoping it would deflate a little bit faster.
least this one has a pretty forgiving checkpoint. So, I think we're gonna be all right. Yeah, the delay between chat and streaming is nothing really new. It's always going to be like a 30 second delay because the stream has to encode properly. It's always hard to tell what is uh, your own local network packet loss and what could be on my end uploading. But if it's good for other people and not for you, that might mean packet loss on your end. Closer. Gotcha.
Hold L2 to launch yourself high into the air with Choco Jet ability. Ooh. And a stunted version on land. Us. Come on. Oh no. I got attacked by weird <laughs> beach critters. You're dead. All done. It's some kind of jump ability. It, like jets you up. That's awesome. It's like those uh <laughs> It's like those water jet um jet packs they make now. Specifically to be used above water, I suppose. Oop, swap controllers out. track of that owl. Oh, something in this cave. Got some divine intel in here, maybe. Use this to go up. The Odin crystal. Whoa. X circle square triangle. Oof, just missed that one. Slip of the fingers. Fucked up again. Let's go. Data on Odin successfully extracted. Excellent. Odin from Thor. Hold the from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. I would cry sustenance. How do we get out of here? We have to use the joke about the jump down, perhaps? Yes. The Asgardians of the Galaxy. I 
Yeah, they've always had a form of Odin in the Final Fantasy series. He comes in on his horse with a lance from the sky. The lance is your enemies. Impales them with mighty thunder. There's another owl. Oh, I don't know if they're going to storyify it much. It's you just need to find all the artifacts so it can unlock him in the uh, Chadley simulator and then you fight Odin in there to obtain the summon materia. Yeah, he's one of the summons. He's like Phoenix and all the other summons you have. But he comes and rides in on the horse when you summon him. Where am I trying? I'm just, I'm just going where I'm going. <laughs> just exploring the area. I haven't been here before. Uncovering the fog of war. But we are headed to Nibelheim, Cloud and Tifa's hometown. We're headed back there because one of the cloaked figures was down on the ground in Cosmo Canyon going Nibelheim Black Materia I'm coming This one's for you Someone looks kind of shaky That's it Hey, you can do it Oh, cut it It's on you. I'll take care of it. It's your turn. I got this. Got it. Hey! On it. One more shot. Back me up. Copy. Perfect. Finish him off. That's it. No surprises there. Yup. Looking for treasure, leveling up our characters, you know, it's just, it's the cycle. It's the cycle of life. Looking for side missions, story elements. I guess that, see that, st some of that stuff we find, like the Play Art Shinra box, that's gotta go in Johnny Seaside Shack. Like, things like that we gotta find. To get that red treasure chest. Circle of life, indeed. Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. The circle jerk of life. You okay? That's what it's all about. Enjoy. Why don't you let me? Come on. I don't have a formal list of what goes on his wall. I haven't really looked it up yet. I'm gonna worry about all these things when I, after I complete the main story and get in on all the side missions that I missed and do another playthrough. 
I don't want to know what a real circle jerk is. No, I'd prefer not to. I mean, if you've worked in any kind of corporate environment, you'll know exactly what a circle jerk is. Every time you get onto a Zoom call, it's just a circle jerk. Can you take over? Hang back. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> You're dead. Climb. Okay, guys. Gloves up. Rare Valron variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol. It is thought that the ominous coloring of this variant is meant to intimidate its enemies. This corresponds with its aggressive nature. Once it finds prey, it attacks in a frenzy. As an aside, Valrons were sighted in this area only after the Mako reactor was... Do know how many towers there are? I don't know. There were rumors at the time that these creatures were actually humans. I think every zone has a different number of towers. I don't know how many towers there are in this one. One thing is certain. The advent of the reactor coincided with the Valrath's appearance. This could be a good opportunity to delve into the mysteries of their origins. Hmm. I don't like the way these look. They don't look friendly.
you can do it. All set. Get him! Your strength knows no bounds! Let's switch it up. Here goes. Don't give up. Okay. Is that it? Why don't you leave the I way? I can still fight. Okay. Hang in there. Good to go. Got it. All right. Copy. Here Good to go. Right. Hey. Back me up. Copy. Come on. Got it. Go. Right. Pretty vicious things there. We didn't get every objective, but we did kill him, so that's all that matters for now. You know, he's come back and as completionists redo these. Got some more divine intel over here, though. Probably put on some. RMP. get into this little hideaway jump up very high when they're not in the water. <laughs> I wonder if you can find a way to get in from behind. There might be some... Might have to go out into this lagoon here to get into that fortress.
capable of cleaning many things you. Be it the fabric of creation or the time of the next. Random no. mushrooms attacking us. And... But it's my from yours. Just keep it together. So it's my turn. Can you take over for me? It's over. Not bad. But not my best. I think so far that jet propulsion is my favorite chocobo ability. <laughs> Whacking these mushroom tips. <laughs> oh, I just came up from behind there. Hmm. Chocobo go. It's disappeared. Oh, we gotta get back out where we were because if we can get back into that fortress from this direction. This mysterious island has. And now if you get attacked or attack any creatures while you're on the chocobo, it auto dismounts you, so now you can't fight anything while staying mounted on the chocobo.
He obtained a cushion. Someone stuck a cushion here. I don't know who it was. Maybe Zangan made it up here before us. I made it to the top. Square, square, triangle, triangle, circle, X, circle, X. how to get around that rock. Maybe I can just jump down from this side. Did I play anything offline or collect anything interesting? I, um, I did. I fought Muhammad and I got his summon materia. That was in one of the Chadley simulators. And then I also played a few games of Queen's Blood in um, Cosmo Canyon and beat three or f maybe three different players in there for that one three cards so that, that's about it no not Muhammad Bahamut <laughs> not the prophet Mah <laughs> Muhammad <laughs> Yeah, Bahamut. It's a B A H A M U T. And he's like a dragon type creature from space. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you need clarification. We don't want to get in trouble here. <laughs> <laughs> Bahamut Ali, <laughs> you come in with some boxing gloves. <laughs> Dragon with some boxing gloves. Fly like a chocobo, sting like a cactuar. Ready! 
good to go. Got it. Back me up. Sick, watch yourself. I got it. See you around. Who's Bowser? Bowser, yeah, it's from Mario. He's he's the main villain in Mario. He's the one who always steals Princess Peach. And Mario has to go rescue her. Knock out this other. I think that's the third and last divine intels up here. We get our full strength, Odin. Treasure chest up here. I don't know who stuck these chests up here, but I'll thank them later. In another life, perhaps.
Oh, these little things actually contain stuff. Choco grass. Tough to choco grass. You can use some choco grass right now. I guess it's to feed these chocos. That's how they get so high above the water. Triangle, triangle, circle. Oh, ah, circle. Shoot. Triangle, triangle. There's two triangles there. Oops. Yeah, it's kind of like a Simon Says memory game. Circle XX square square triangle triangle circle. the third and final one for Odin. I've managed to analyze all the crystals located in evil. Thank you for your help. Odin will serve as a powerful ally, whisking your foes away to the land of the dead. Ah, though you have yet to obtain the requisite materia, as I recall, you'll first need to confront the Divine via the combat simulator. I just finished all his intel, so yeah, probably won't. Although when you finish all the intels, when you do the, when you face off on Odin, you can downgrade his power three times. So hopefully, like, because when I fought Bahamut, I only did the down level twice. And even then, he was quite, kind of a challenge, especially... Um, a lot of these things, when, a lot of these summons, when you fight them, they actually have one ability that's instant death to everyone. So you kind of need to have, like, the revival earrings on all characters, and or a safety bed on one that lets you live with one HP after that attack.
helps. Or turn everyone to frogs, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've found any items that prevent turning you into a frog. I have an item that turns you into frog automatically at the start of a battle. <laughs> but I don't have... Like, I remember in the original game there was the white capes. Those were an accessory that would stop you from turning into a frog. Yeah, I think my internet dropped for a sec. Why would you want to turn into a frog? There's probably some kind of trophy for doing it. probably need to get a new um, wireless repeater for this office. I'm using some old tech to keep me connected up here. I'm actually using one of those um, actually on my laptop I'm using Wi-Fi but yeah I'm like upstairs and Probably be good to have a good quality repeater up in this room. Yeah, I have a good repeater downstairs so I can reach the garage, but I don't have another one up here. Yeah, I have gigabit internet here. I'm on fiber. <laughs> Nibelheim's not far now. First time back since. Yep. First time. Same here. Didn't seem worth coming back till now. Didn't think there was anything to come back to. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Lots happened since then. Uh, Cloud, stay close, would you? <laughs> Seriously, I was ready for this. It's just too good. Damn it! You've got this. All set. One more shot. Ha! Ha! There. Ha! Come on. Copy. I owe you. One step at a time. I love when that uppercut kills him. <laughs> Tifa's little uppercut. <laughs> Where'd you go, baby? Home, baby. Take us to the Choco Stop. Yeah. Oh, time to use a cushion. Just settle down here on the bench. Take your load off. Mm. 
is this little fishing village here. Someone put a big load on that other broken bench. <laughs> Wide load. Is it just me, or have the shipments been dropping in quality lately? Red's causing a ruckus back there. <laughs> Let's ride. Oh, can we get to the top of this tower with the Chocobo without having to climb? Can we do it? Yes, we can. Yeah. Good Choco. Good little Pico. Far and wide. Oh no, there's another Moogle house. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I want to go do the Moogle house. <laughs> don't make me do it. <laughs> because Moogle houses are pure torture. Yeah, it's fun. Fun for you. <laughs> we'll go. We'll, we'll go. We'll go give it a shot. Mutilation time. Oh, we are not going with a two hit limit. Get that. Did they get rid of the three hit limit? Or that's weird. It was like two hit and then a four hit. There's no in between anymore. All the mooglets for me, Koopo. There's a time limit now. Oh no. I don't like time limits. 
artificially imposed bullshit. <laughs> the Mooglets are more mischievous than ever. Awesome. Alright, who are we going for first? thing there. Come on, Koopo. Time to go home. Can't jump over this. Oh. You can jump in the water. There's not enough tornadoes in this one at all. Oh, man. Yeah, face that way. This is just one of those banana boys. I think we can... Banana boys are a little easier to deal with. I think keep coming back. Over here. Oh, pff. spoke too soon. <laughs> oh man, this thing's traveled too far. have like 48 seconds left. This one's really far away. I guess I need to learn to do this a little bit quicker. Where did he disappear to? He's just... I've only gotten three in there so far. I'm too slow. I don't like time limits. <laughs> yeah, more things are being thrown and dropped. And there's five of them now. Oh. Clumsy, clumsy cloud. Yeah, I got four out of five.
Oof. Last one. That's great. It's one of those projectile ones. Maybe if I stay like on top of him, he won't have time to cast his stuff. Seems to work. You can kind of overwhelm him. Nice. It's not so bad when you got four hits. <laughs> Thank you so much for gathering all the Mooglets, Koopo. After Mog and Mag established the very first Moogle Emporium way back when, their seven children went on to open up branches all over the world, Koopo. Oh, I wish my Mooglets would take a page out of their book. What have you got for sale, young man? Be emerald, sapphire, wave fist. The fortune's untold. Did you find Good job, Koopo. Thank you. not be attempting any other mischief levels at the moment. to the reactor. Or to the town, I guess. Reactor will come after. See, hmm, there's two paths. Oh. There's one of the hooded Hooded NPCs. Moaning and groaning. No. Ooh, what a twist. Restored. It's like it was never destroyed. Cloud, look at this. It's it's brand new. They rebuilt the whole village. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Thought Cloud might have lost it again. <clears throat> I mean, I thought he got us lost, because it looks different. So, who do you think rebuilt it? Shinra. Shinra. Obviously. Never mind all that. We've got a terminal to find.
food we serve to our patients. What do you want? We allow our patients to walk around. It's reassuring to see them become more active. Until recently, they used to stand around all day doing nothing. the same, are they? Paid actors. Hello there. Can I help you? Greetings, good sir. I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until... You know. I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? Nope. No idea. Uh, five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact Special Facilities at Corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. Uh, uh, I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please, don't stay too long. Don't stay too long. Not very hospitable. There's nothing here, you know. We got people playing Queen's Blood here. I mean, other people stay. Chocobos are lovely creatures, but they can be a handful if you don't know the proper techniques. I offer personal training tailored to your specific needs. Sign up now for a special course. Okay. Always use some chocobo riding tips. The services we provide here are strictly for the vet. My mom needs to move. We got a Shinra soldier playing Queen's Blood. You don't happen to be a card player, do you? It's no use denying it. You're slacking off because you want to play Queen's Blood. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't, comrade. The name's Turner, the top truant. I say, screw working. I'm all about playing hooky. You'd be hard pressed to find anyone who's better at it than me. I don't give a damn about demotions. Prepare yourself. Okay. This man knows what's up. He knows how to keep his priorities straight.
had to debuff his own card there. That placement. I guess I'll debuff it again. Destroy his card. Got a lot of new cards. Match is almost like taking candy from a baby. the game. Valron. I don't think I have that one. Raise power by two for each other enfeebled ally card. Hmm. That was impressive. I didn't think you beat me so easily. When I entered contests on the clock, I always won. Wait, could you be more of a slacker than me? But I devote all my time outside of roll calls. You're right, you met King Slacker, bro. You're unemployed, <laughs> living the dream. Living the dream, unemployed, brah. It's none of my business. <laughs> You're a bigger fish, that's all. Laying in a hammock, just chilling, brah. I hope I'll have another chance someday. You can always strive to be even more lazy. Living the dream. If you're that 
desperate to buy something. <laughs> Ooh, what are these new bangles and bracelets? I missed a... Oh, there's a resounding megaphone for sale. It means I must have missed it somewhere. Varvado's bracelet. Stout bracelet that once graced the thewy arm of the Dragon King himself. Available for purchase in the Nebel region. Power wrist guard. Garm bangle. A bangle purportedly made with the pelt of a fearsome fiend who commanded the packs of hell. Wonder if I can craft any of those yet. It's nothing personal, but. Commander's Bracer. I can craft that. Or Spirit Bound one. Hmm. long time ago, right? We'd appreciate it if you didn't cause us any trouble. Here's another booster pack. Headband. This isn't your home anymore. Remember that, all right? Tempest damage by 5%. Team a hand today. I can't catch a break. What did you expect? They're Mako poison. Just hang in there until your term's up, okay? Good old water tower. 
back up to its former glory. Question, this always been here? Yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? So, let's give the Gotta poor thing what it wants and see the sights. Hey, hey just don't just get To look at this place, you'd never know. Yeah. Who could resist? You pet so, that. Which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the inn. Where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall. The general store. In that there? Tifa's house. So let me guess, this is where you kept a lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? Probably. Sounds like something I'd do. If I was in your shoes, I would have been up here all the time. I'm gonna head down. Think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Are you angry? Mm-hmm. At me? Not at you. At everything. Must be nice. To have a friend you've known since you were a kid. Someone you can say, remember the time when? To someone you can reminisce with. I don't have anyone like that. And it feels like I'm being taunted for it. Which stings. More than it should. That is why I want to be alone. Plus, I might take it out on you, and I don't want that. I don't mind. Well, I do, and it'd only make me feel worse. Thank you, though. Really. I'll be down in a bit. See you then. through I take it if you are feeling unwell though you'll have to wait well that's the biggest sacrilege is that cat's food is miss oh no there's the cat's food still down here they're still feeding the kitty <laughs> this is where we care for the patients we provide checkups treatments whatever they need you might have noticed how some of our patients have number tattoos on the Please, just let them rest. They don't have much longer as it is. You know... Is the piano still up here? Hmm? Better be. I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? 
thought about it ever since waking up in Corral. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. Found a little more That's sheet music. Looked, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. Couple more really? pieces of sheet music from the my last pain, my grief, town. Everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is, anger doesn't last. So when avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah, you have. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you'd, you know, always be looking at me? I, uh, what? <laughs> Every time we made eye Naughty contact, cloud. You'd away. And when I tried to talk to you, you'd ignore me. Not surprised. I was a pain in the ass as a kid. I was the opposite. I needed everyone to like me all the time. Part of me still does, I think. Kinda hate that about myself. Bad boy looking in the window. Does this guy play Queen's Blood? <laughs> no, Dale. Leave the man alone. I can play Queen's Blood with you. I don't want to play Queen's Blood with you. I want to challenge so the sorry. dopies. He loves playing Queen's Blood more than anything Dale. else in the world. Actually, I don't suppose you would mind playing a match or two with him. Yeah, I'll play with Dale. I'm not the best player, so I think he's been looking for someone. And he's some kind of like Queen's Blood savant. Yeah. All right, Dale. It's just you and me, boy. Let's see what you got. Try to beat the Captain Dale. You win the Captain. Make it happen. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Uh, that's a good play. Try this on for size. Take that.
should die. Uh, let's put Joker into play. Hellrider. See if you got what it takes. Six. Sorry to spank you, Dale, but that's just where the chips fell. Raise position ranks by two. Hmm. Uh, oh no! I don't think I've ever seen him this happy. It must have been a great match. <laughs> Never seen him this happy. I'd hate to see him when he's sad. <laughs> enough Dale he has other things to do I'm sure thank you so much for taking the time to play with him he's just happy to play against anybody you think someone would brief us on these things considering we're the ones who actually have to look after them if you're here to visit someone I'm afraid you'll have to track them down yourself we're a bit busy we've been dealing with so many new agents I know. They can't survive. Another six months and I'm out of here. Hope I can end on a high note. To be honest, sometimes I wonder if... Why don't we take a short spell before lunch? Zack. Visions of Zack. 
Yeah, we took his ass to school, didn't we? You don't really think that all these guys decided to get up and shuffle over here of their Taught him a thing or two. Of course not. This is Shinra's doing. First, they raise a whole village because it suits them. Then they build a fake one right on top of it. We can't let those corporate bastards keep getting away with this shit. We gotta do something, right? Hell yeah. Screw them. Screw them. That's the spirit. Fuck these Screw. guys. We'll make them pay for what they did to y'all's home. Damn right. Welcome. What? Do I need to rest? Probably not. Nah. Ooh. Mystery. Here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? What? Not interested? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. She's real pretty. No, beautiful. Kind of depends on the angle. Hmm. She's just great to be around. She from Midgar? She's just. Yep. Real city mouth. She's pretty. No, beautiful. Depends on the angle. <laughs> wow. If you get get the angle just right, she's she's pretty. For Aerith, we fought together as soldiers. Poor Aerith. Yeah. You were here with me five years ago. From the wrong angle, she's real homely looking. And they were just the right light. Where are you? What happened to you? Take a couple swigs. Put on some of them beer goggles. Juice always helps efficient. <laughs> yeah. Very true. I keep asking who moved where, but no. <laughs> who will tell me anything? No need to wear yourself out. Let's rest. I can't believe this! Oh. We need to find three I beer. I when it was too good to be true. I only have limited access from this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut it. Nope. But all is not lost. Excuse me, good sir. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Don't you have clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom, me. 
Be that as it may, I can't let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Meaning the deputy commissioner? Or the commission himself? Let's meet and greet. Deputy Commissioner Murasaki's up at the reactor, conducting an inspection for corporate. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but he hasn't been in touch to confirm. Could be he needs more time. Uh, we can't afford to dilly-dally. Then we'll just have to track him down. Agreed. Thanks for all the help, pal. To the reactor. No luck at town hall, I take it. Hmm. Gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the reactor. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with. Me too. Really? You sure? <laughs> Ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. All right. You sure you're gonna be okay? We're going on a hike and getting a key card. How tough can it be? You'll still be gone for Always a while. Always a key card. Sure there's nothing you need to take That's right, Mark. You can't just break a window. Make it snap. My materia needs me. It's like your attacks and gunshots are enough to subdue giant monsters, weapon, planetary weapons. You can dismantle gods and demigods, but for some reason you just can't break that lock. Always need the key card. New bridge just went in, you know. Might shave some time off the trip. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, reactor word ho! Oh, yeah. What's Rufus up to? Sir, conniving. We've received word about the Nibelheim survey team. It appears they were ambushed. By Wu Tai? <laughs> Indeed, and so it begins. We normally would have seen Wu Tai in this chapter, but I think they're holding that off to the third game as well. Wu Tai is. Uh, Hurry Yuffie's up, hometown. Is that the new bridge I see up ahead? Yeah, no Wu Tai. I think they're like trying to make like expand on it into a larger region and turn it into a much bigger city. It's gonna be like probably this centerpiece of the third game, I would imagine. I forgot we do want to go back into Midgar too in the third act. That'll be interesting. Careful out there. Fiends have started coming down off the mountain. Fiends. All right. Yeah, that'll be fun. Alright, I'm probably going to end the stream there. That was fun. It's fun seeing Nibelheim again. We're going to make our way up the reactor next time. I'm probably going to go pick up some food, get some dinner, celebrate a birthday. Uh, so, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with y'all on the flip side. I, pro I might stream this weekend some point actually I don't know if I'll take the whole weekend off yeah thanks everyone see you next time careful out there beans have started coming down off the mountain